Not hearing any sound, I came out and went up the stone stair to where I could shall remain. Later. Later. I endorse the last words written, but this time there is no doubt in question. I shall not fear to sleep in any place where he is not. I have placed the crucifix over the head of my bed. I imagine that my rest is thus freer from dreams, and there it shall remain. When he left me, I went to my room. After a little while, not hearing any sound, I came out and went up the stone stair to where I could look out towards the south. There was some sense of freedom in that vast expanse, inaccessible though it was to me, as compared with the narrow darkness of the courtyard. Looking out on this, I felt that I was indeed in prison, and I seemed to want a breath of fresh air, though it were of the night. I am beginning to feel this nocturnal existence tell on me. It is destroying my nerve. I start at my own shadow, and I'm full of all sorts of horrible imaginings. God knows that there is ground for my terrible fear in this accursed place. I looked out over the beautiful expanse, bathed in soft yellow moonlight, till it was almost as light as day. In the soft light, the distant hills became melted, and the shadows in the valleys and gorges of velvety blackness. The mere beauty seemed to cheer me. There was peace and comfort in every breath I drew. As I leaned from the window, my eye was caught by something moving a story below me, and somewhat to my left, where I imagined from the order of the rooms that the windows of the Count's own room would look out. The window at which I stood was tall and deep, stone mullioned, and though weather-worn was still complete, but it was evidently many a day since the case had been there. I drew back behind the stonework and looked carefully out. What I saw was the Count's head coming out from the window. I did not see the face, but I knew the man by the neck and the movement of his back and arms. In any case, I could not mistake the hands which I had had some many opportunities for studying. I was at first interested and somewhat amused, for it is wonderful how small a matter will interest and amuse a man when he is a prisoner. My very feelings changed to repulsion and terror when I saw the whole man slowly emerge from the window and begin to crawl down the castle wall over the dreadful abyss, face down with his cloak spreading out around him like great wings. At first I could not believe my eyes. I thought it was some trick of the moonlight or some weird effect of shadow, but I kept looking and it could be no delusion. I saw the fingers and toes grasp the corners of the stones, worn clear of the mortar by the stress of years, and by thus using every projection and inequality, move downwards with considerable speed, just as a lizard moves along a wall. What manner of man is this, or what manner of creature is it in the semblance of a man? I feel the dread of this horrible place overpowering me. I am in fear, in awful fear. There is no escape for me. I am encompassed about with terrors that I dare not think of. 15th May. Pull down the castle wall over the dreadful abyss, face down. Anne slowly emerge from the window and begin to crawl down the castle wall over the dreadful abyss, face down with his cloak spreading out around him like great wings. Things changed to repulsion and terror when I saw the whole man, man slowly emerge from the window and begin to crawl. emerge from the window and begin to crawl down the castle wall over the dreadful abyss, face down with his cloak spreading out around him like great wings. At first I could not believe my eyes. I thought it was some trick of the moonlight or some weird effect of shadow, but I kept looking, and it could be no delusion. 
I saw the fingers and toes grasp the corners of the stones, worn clear of the mortar by the stress of years, and by thus using every projection and inequality, move downwards with considerable speed, just as a lizard moves along a wall. What manner of man is this, or what manner of creature is it in the semblance of a man? I feel the dread of this horrible place overpowering me. I am in fear, in awful fear. There is no escape for me. I am encompassed about with terrors that I dare not think of. 15th May Once more, I have seen the Count go out in his lizard fashion. He moved downwards in a sidelong way, some hundred feet down and a good deal to the left. He vanished into some hole or window. When his head had disappeared, I leaned out to try and see more, but without avail. The distance was too great to allow a proper angle of sight. Once more, I have seen the Count go out in his lizard fashion. He moved downwards in a... That's because it's so very far away from my mouth. Okay, sorry about that. That was just me being stupid. Alrighty, there you go. So you haven't heard anything that I've been saying so far. <laughs> but now I am back. I am here. Okay, great. So we just ran through the end of um, that last section of Chapter 3 which was the first time that Jonathan Harker has seen uh, Dracula crawling around like a creepy freak on the outside of the castle. Uh, now we're doing his reaction to that. So we have our, our base sound effects for these scenes, uh, which are a bit samey, but there's not a lot you can do about that because they're all in the same place. So uh, the outside countryside... Um, and the howling wind. So, as he comes in... 15th May. Once more, I have... Alright, we can probably pull them back a bit. Once more, I have... And even a bit louder, because uh, we're going to pull them back. Right at the start of. There we go, his actual speech. Once more, I have seen the Count go. We can make that a bit more gentle. That's okay, it's not too loud. 15th May. Once more, I have seen the Count go out in his lizard fashion. He moved downwards in a sidelong way, some hundred feet down and a good deal to the left. He okay, should we have the skittering again? Because that's a new sound effect, I kind of like it. Uh, creepy skittering. <laughs> so creepy. Okay, uh, so we'll have that a little bit. 
because that is the sound of uh, the Count skittering around outside his castle, as you might imagine. Uh, it's quite loud, so let's probably drop it right away. It's meant to be subtle in the background. You know, it tingles up the spine rather than battering your ears. More, I have seen the Count go out in his lizard... Okay, so he's seen the Count going out in his lizard fashion. Count go out in... in his lizard fashion. He moved downwards in a... There we go. In a side long way, some hundred feet down and a good deal to the left. He vanished into some hole or window. There we go. Subtle little thing. But this is why it's taken me to May to get to uh, nearly the end of Chapter 3. I'm really spending my time on Dracula. I want it to be another uh, uh, another master work. You know? Some of them I have to sort of rush out a bit faster than I'd like, but Dracula, I'm taking my time. He vanished into some hole or window. When his head had disappeared, I leaned out to try and see more, but without avail. The distance was too great to allow a proper angle of sight. I knew he had left the castle now, and thought to use the opportunity to explore more than I had dared to do as yet. I went back to the room, and taking a lamp, tried... Right, I went back to the room... Every time we hear an action, that's the trigger to uh, uh, use a sound effect. Now, I think we have footsteps on stone now, or are we using concrete? Ah, we have running on stone, so we'll just use... Uh, no, it's man walking, aren't we? That's where... Sorry, I'm having to remember <laughs> which, which uh, uh, sound effects I'm walking, uh, I'm using for each... Uh, it's that one, I think. Yep, that's it. Okay. So we're assuming that Mr. Jonathan Harker is wearing shoes, which <laughs> he probably is. Uh, now, in here, we have a lantern somewhere, but I can't remember where I've put it. Carrying a lantern. There we go. All right. So. For angle of sight. I knew he had left the castle now, and thought to use the opportunity to explore more than I had dared to do as yet. I went back to the room, and taking a lamp... Okay, so a little bit earlier... ...than I had dared to do as yet. I went back to the room, and take... We can fade in for a couple of steps. ...dared to do as yet. I went back to the room, and mm -hmm. taking a lamp... Taking a lamp. Lamp tried all the doors. They. Ah, oh, we have door sound effects too. All right, let's move down. Under the base sound effects. So we've got more room to play. Was yet. I went back to the room. Than I had dared to do as yet. I went back to the room and, taking a lamp, tried all the. Taking a lamp, that sound effect should be earlier. The That's doors. The first good rattle. There we are. Okay. I went back to the room and, taking a lamp, tried all the doors. There we are. And then we'll throw. my favorite door handle jiggle which is of course from the front door of my old house in uh, Australia which had a great it was like a hundred year old thick wooden door with a great old brass door handle just perfect sound effects perfect they were all the doors they were A lamp tried all the door room and taking a lamp tried all the doors. They were all locked as I had expected, and the locks were comparatively new, but I uh, 
stop the footsteps while we're trying the door, of course. Taking a lamp, tried all the doors. They were all locked, as I had expected. Have another one there. It, and the locks were comparatively new, but I went down the stone... St that might be the last one. ...stairs to the hall where I had entered originally. I found I could pull back the bolt. Ah. I could pull... Right. It ...originally. Okay, there's a stop there. So, we do our old trick of the footsteps stopping. Pull it down, put it a bit closer. That's too close by far. There we go. Originally. Originally. I found... That lantern noise is very loud. So we'll damp that one quite a bit. Uh, and then actually fade it out for the moment. Because he's stopped moving. Yes, it's it's exciting work, isn't it? A thrill a minute. <laughs> Stone stairs to the hall where I had entered. <coughs> Excuse me. I found I could pull back the. I had entered originally. I found I could pull. Pull back the bolts. Is it that one? I think it is. Pull back the bolts easily enough and unhook the great chain. A ah, little bit of a chain. Uh, we had that somewhere as well. Is that in Things Metal? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Just that first clank, please. You make me love you. <laughs> it's easily enough and unhook the great chain. I could pull back the bolts easily enough and. Oh, me. That second bolt sound, I think, is a bit better the bolts easily enough and unhook the great chains, but the door was locked. I want to put a bit more base on that chain. Sorry, I know this is not very exciting to watch, but it's, uh, <clears throat> this is how I do what I do. Back the bolts easily enough and unhook the great chains, but the door was locked easily enough and unhook the great chains. I might slow it down a bit too. Easily enough and unhook the great chains, but the. Okay, that um, needs more meat. Easily enough and unhook the great chains, but the. Maybe we'll bring it on a little bit too. Chains, but the door was locked and the key was gone. Okay, uh, more of the door attempting there. Oops. Not your different one, thank you. Chains, but the door was locked and the key was gone. That key must be in the Count's room. I must watch should his door be unlocked so that I may get it and escape. I went on to make a... To make a thorough examination of the various stairs. I went on to make a thorough examination of the various stairs and passages and to try the doors that opened. 
slower, slower. You're walking a bit too quickly for my liking. On to make a thorough examination of the various stairs and... And he's got his lantern, hasn't he? I went on to make a thorough examination of the various stairs and passages and to try the doors that opened from them. One or two small rooms near the hall. Okay. went on to make a thorough examination of the various stairs and passages and to try the doors that opened from them. One or two small rooms near the hall were open, but there was nothing to see in them except old furniture. Nothing to see in them except old or two small rooms near the hall were open, but... So many little things that no one cares about except me. <laughs> ...near the hall were open, but there was nothing to see in them except old furniture, dusty with age and moth-eaten. At last, however, I found one door at the top of the stairway, which, though it seemed locked, gave a little stairway, which, though it... But, I mean, this is how I made 1984, you know. Um, I didn't really care... Uh, how how audible it was you know and i have had comments from time to time from people that noticed some tiny thing in the background and i'm like ah there you go it's not it's not uh, wasted effort you know stairway which though it seemed locked gave a little which, though it seemed locked gave a little under though it seemed locked gave a little under pressure Hmm. I tried it harder and found that it was... Right, so we need... Oh boy, this might be tricky. So we need pushing really hard on a door that is that is wedged against the ground. So we need that little scrape and then more. And I don't think I have anything like that. Let's have a look at the drawer. We might be able to do something with that. Hmm... from an old desk of mine. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can do stuff. Listen to exactly what we want. I think we need an initial short push and it gives a bit. We can have some metal clanking and scraping wood quite short and then it'll have to push open, right? Blocked. Gave a little under pressure. <clears throat> I tried it harder and found that it was not really locked, but that the resistance came from the fact that the hinges had fallen somewhat oh. and the heavy door rested on the floor. Here was an opportunity which I might not have again. So I exerted myself and with many efforts forced it back so that I could enter. I was now in a... Okay, cool. So, yeah, we need <clears throat> maybe a couple of little short, short ones. And then a um, longer one. All right, so we'll start by getting rid of all the little uh, draw handle sounds in this one. All right, so that's got to go. That's got to go, and that's got to go. All right, that might be okay, but for the bigger one later, right? So. Oh, that's a good long one. And we got some good bashes. Got some good bashes there. Okay. So, we're going to take a bit of a bash... We're going to mix it in here. Mm. 
The main trouble is the pitch, but that's okay. We're going to change that. Uh, with a... No, 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 not you, not you, not you. Resample, please. Thank you. It sounds very smooth at the moment, but that's okay. Don't, uh, don't stress. We will alter that. We're going to pump the bass. And the mid, Oop, too much bass. It's still very, because it is a smooth draw. Which is why we're going to add some of these bangs in it. Uh, okay, not that big one just yet. These three smaller ones. You yet either. We need you to be bigger. <coughs> um, so yeah, EQ. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Um, but maybe a little too loud, so we'll drop the volume. Okay. Copy you. Mix you in here. That last sound is crap. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. go. Okay, I think uh, if we make that a little muffled, that should work. Um, not in the desktop, please. Um, in... Um, Maybe not doors. Maybe we'll put it in wood here. Uh, draw mod door push, we'll call it for the moment. Oh, I have to go in and uh, clear up SFX that I've created like this every now and again, just um, see where the heck I've put them. <laughs> and change their names a bit. All right, so here we go. Let's see how this goes. It seemed locked, gave a little, gave a little under pressure. Okay, separate the two sound effects, because that one doesn't happen for quite a while. Then we will slow it down to 80. Oh, it seemed locked gave a little under pressure gave a little under pressure I tried it harder under pressure I no that speed is no good that's too slow it has to be more of a eh, eh. Oh, I know. We'll lay a bit of um, creaking bed or floorboards. 
uh, underneath it, get one good, see if we can find one good crack, right? Yeah, perfect creaking bed. That'll do nicely for the second one. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. We've got this, folks. We've got it. We've got it. Relax. We'll make this sound great. Um, okay, so we'll cut that there, but we'll see which, which bit we want to use. But I think it'll be these. A little under pressure. Um, just line up, please. A little under pressure. Lovely, lovely. I mm, slower fade, slower fade, slower fade. Maybe not that slow. We'll have a look. Gave a little under pressure. I tried it harder and found that it was not real. Gave a little under pressure. I tried it hard. I can't have it sound fake. A little under pressure. I tried it harder. Two separate sounds, that's no good. Gave a little under pressure. I tried it. a little under pressure I tried it harder and Lovely. found that it was not really locked but that the resistance came from the fact that the hinges had fallen somewhat and the heavy door rested on the floor here was an opportunity which I might not have again so I exerted myself and with many efforts forced it back there we go now creaking floorboards because it's nice and slow, it's it's a it's a long sound, you know. myself and with many efforts forced it back so that I could enter. Okay, and you can be slower. You can be a lot slower. Eighty. There we go. Exerted myself and with many efforts forced it back so that I could enter. I was now in a wing of the car. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an excellent example of what I do and how I do it. You take whatever sound that you've got access to, because sound effects are really expensive, and you mix it and you modify it and you remaster it and you layer them over the top of each other and you find a way to create a good sound effect. So I exerted myself and with many efforts forced it back so that I could enter. I was now in a wing of the castle. Of the castle further to the right and then the room. I was now in. In a wing of the castle further to the right and then the rooms I knew and a story lower down. Even slower. Even slower. Of the castle further to the right and then the rooms I knew and a story lower down. From the windows I could see that the suite of rooms lay along to the south of the castle. I could see that the Whenever he's looking at something, he has to stop to look at it. It's a small thing, but, uh, you know, important to me. From the windows, I could see that the suite of rooms lay along to... ...the south of the car. From the windows, I could see... You can hardly hear that lantern, right? the windows I could see that the suite of rooms lay along to the south of the ca there we go. castle the windows of the end room looking out both west and south on the latter side as well as to the former there was a great precipice 
The castle was built on the court. Ah, stop. Precipice. Right, so he's looking at the precipice. The things we do for love. The castle will. The things we do for love. Sorry, I got that song stuck in my head today. I don't know why. On the latter side, out both west and south. On the latter side. Oops. No, 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 no. South. There we go. Both west and south. On the latter side, as well as to the former, there was a great precipice. The castle was built on the corner of a great rock, so that on three... The castle was built on the corner of a great rock, so that on three sides it was quite impregnable. And great windows were placed here where sling or bow or culverin could not. What's a culverin? No idea. Not reach, and consequently light and comfort, impossible to a position which had to be guarded, were secured. To the west was possible to a position which had to be guarded were secured. Okay. Now some more walking. He loves a walk. Uh, Jonathan, walking around the castle. To the west was a great valley, and then rising far away, great... We got some uh, pretty great performances coming up, by the way. Valley, and then rising far away, great jagged mountain. From uh, Jennifer Speak, who was in Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, big stretchy yawn. Okay, sorry, so sorry. <coughs> it's been quite a hectic week for me. Um, but from, uh, yeah, Jennifer Speak, who was in Alice in Wonderland, and from Kira Jones, one of the winners of our reading competition, who will be playing the Brides of Dracula, coming up soon enough. <laughs> spooky, spooky. All right. Although, I say soon. <laughs> Towards the end. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, what, a 35-minute chapter by the looks? Maybe 40 minutes? Yeah, close to 40 minutes. And we're at about 24 now, so let's get on with things, shall we? But impossible to a position which had to be guarded was secured. To the west was a great valley, and then rising far away, great jagged mountain fastnesses rising peak on peak. The sheer rock studded with mountain ash and thorn, whose roots clung in cracks and crevices and crannies of the stone. This was evidently the portion of the castle occupied by the ladies in bygone days, for the furniture had more an air of comfort than any I had seen. The windows were curtainless. All right, so he could just wander around really slowly while this is going on, I think. Uh, and the lamp appears to have just about finished, so let's... Um... Oh, come on. I just copied you, friend. Copy, copy. Pasty, pasty. There we go. Oops. Ah, oh, look at all those wacky volume... Wacky volume points. Whee! Okay, we'll just get rid of them. Yeah, I had seen. The windows were curtainless, and the yellow moonlight flooding in through the diamond panes enabled one... Ah, oh, can we go even slower? Because he's, like, casually walking around just looking at this big old room now. Yeah, I had seen. The windows were curtainless, and the yellow moonlight flooding in through the diamond panes enabled one to see even colours, whilst it softened the wealth of dust which lay over all... 
Well, let's just have him stop every now and again. In through the diamond. And he's just looking at stuff. Wandering around, looking at a big room. Right. So nothing huge. We won't worry about the stopping footsteps or anything. He's the just... windows were curtainless, and the yellow moonlight flooding in through the diamond panes enabled one to see even colours. While there just a couple of steps there. It softened the wealth, enabled one to see even colours. While it softened the wealth of dust which lay over all, and disguised in. Some measure the ravagers of time and moth. My lamp seemed to be of little effect in the brilliant moonlight, but I was glad to have it with me, for there was a. in the brilliant moonlight, but I was glad to have it with me, for there was a dread loneliness in the place which chilled my heart and made my nerves tremble. Still, it was better than living alone in the rooms which I had come to hate from the presence of the Count. And after Ugh, look at all those volume points. Let's clear them all away. Na 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 Oh god. Na 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 Ah where am I? There I am. I'm still sort of getting used to Premiere Pro. It's uh, a very good program, but uh yeah. Takes a little getting used to. Save and save the backup. Always want to do that. Save early, save often. Yes. Effects, uh, audio transition, please. Constant gain. Thank you very much. Own in the rooms which I had come to hate from the presence of the Count. And after trying a little to school my nerves, I found a soft quietude come over me. Here I am, sitting at a little oak table, where in old... Ah, there we go. Okay, so... Nerves, I found a soft... Stress has on a bit. ...quietude come over me. Here I... Okay. So we're going to stretch that on a bit. All my nerves, I found a soft quietude come over me. Here I am, sitting at a little... Alright, so, sitting. Sitting at a little... Sitting at a little thingy. Oh dear, where have I put that? I need a furniture folder. So I've got like, see, chair creaks and stuff like that. Chair, 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 sitting on a leather couch. I've got all sorts of sound effects. I need a little folder for them. Oak table where... Sitting at a little oak table where in old... I am sitting at a little oak table where in old times possibly some fair lady sat to... Ooh, ooh, let's do that. Let's do that. Because <clears throat> it's got that qu big uh, clank there. Gave me the idea that can be him putting the lantern down, eh? Mmm. Oh, that's frightfully clever, Steve. You're a bit of a genius. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you. You don't need to say such things, but I appreciate it. <laughs> me? Uh. Table where in old times possibly... Ah, a little bit earlier, actually, if we're going to do that. Table where in old times... A 
now for a bit of casual old school sexism. People where in old times possibly some fair lady sat to pen with much thought and many blushes her <laughs> ill spelt love letter and writing in my diary. Because of course a woman can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, they're frightfully too too pretty and airheaded for that sort of thing. <laughs> In shorthand, all that has happened since I closed it last. Right, he's writing. Uh, we do, believe it or not, have a writing uh, sound effect. I can't remember where it is. Is it in things? I think it's in paper. Yes, there we go. Her ill-spelt love letter and writing in my diary. Diary in shorthand, all that has happened since I closed it last. It is the 19th century. Up to date with a vengeance. And yet, unless my senses deceive me, the old centuries had and have powers of their own, which mean. Ah, dump that pen sound. Thank you. Me. The old centuries had and have powers of their own, which mere modernity cannot kill. Later. Ah, okay. So, everything cuts off and fades out for the end of the scene. We'll start from there. No, let's go a little earlier. There we go. From there. There we go. And we just fade all that out. Was of their own, which mere modernity cannot kill. Later. Right. Now, uh, he's probably done writing, so we can get rid of that one. But these remain the same. Yay! <laughs> so, from here, later, bring the back. Uh, Fade to the start of the speech, go quite loud for like a, a second, just to set the scene and then down again. All right, go up, up. I'm supposed to be down and down. Okay, let's check that later. The morning of 16th May, God, right. That can actually stretch out. Whoops, to about there. There we go. Of 16th May. God preserve my sanity, for to this I am reduced. Safety and the assurance of safety are things of the past. While I live on here, there is but one thing to hope for that I may not go mad, if indeed I be not mad already. If I be sane, then surely it is maddening to think that, of all the foul things that lurk in this hateful place, the Count is the least dreadful to me, that to him alone I can look for safety, even though this be only whilst I can serve his purpose. Great God, merciful God, let me be calm, for out of that way lies madness indeed. I begin to get new lights on certain things which have puzzled me. Up to now, I never quite knew what Shakespeare meant when he made Hamlet say, My tablets, quick, my tablets, tis meat that I put it down, etc. For now, feeling as though my own brain were unhinged, or as if the shock had come which must end in its undoing, I turn to my diary for repose. The habit of entering accurately must help to soothe me. The Count's mysterious warning frightened me at the time. It frightens me more not when I think of it, for in the future he has a fearful hold upon me. I shall fear to doubt what he may say. 
when I had written in my diary and had fortunately replaced the book and pen in my pocket, I felt sleepy. The Count's warning came into my mind, but I took pleasure in disobeying it. The sense of sleep was upon me, and with it the obstinacy which sleep brings as outrider. The soft moonlight soothed, and the wide expanse without gave a sense of freedom which refreshed me. I determined not to return tonight to the gloom-haunted rooms, but to sleep here, where, of old, ladies had sat and sung and lived sweet lives, whilst their gentle breasts were sad for their menfolk away in the midst of remorseless wars. I drew a great couch out of its place near the corner, so that as I lay I could look at the lovely view to east and south, and, unthinking of and uncaring for the dust, composed myself for sleep. I suppose I must have fallen asleep. I hope so, but I fear for all that followed was startlingly real. So real that now, sitting here in the broad, full sunlight of the morning, I cannot in the least believe that it was all sleep. I was not alone. The room was the same, unchanged in any way since I came into it. I could see along the floor in the brilliant moonlight my own footsteps marked where I had disturbed the long accumulation of dust. In the moonlight opposite me were three young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on the floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then whispered together. Two were dark and had high aquiline noses. I don't have the whispering. I should have asked the girls to give me whispering. I didn't include that. I always miss something. That's that's a very important note. I always, always miss something. So, we have to find uh, Come on. Uh, this is mm, I mean, this is a good uh, website for free sound effects if you want it but Jiminy Crickets it's uh, you have to sift through an awful lot of crud Love is the key. oh go away oh, yeah. ah bunch of stolen sound effects you have to be careful of that too just because people say oh this is free sound effects it's commercial free blah 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 you can have it no copyright blah 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 they may well have just stolen it from someone else and they either don't understand the laws or they don't care about the laws you have to be very very careful Oh, that's great, but it's only a few seconds. That's not enough. Not enough. Oh, it sounds like a painful poo. That's great. I'm so happy for you, mate. <laughs> wow. I love women. Okay, you're just a weird guy, aren't you? That's the same dude. Dwister who, right? Dwister who, yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay. So what else can we do? 
Not a lot. I can ask the girls to give me some whispering later and just keep a note. Um, so, uh, where are we? <clears throat> so, like basically, right on 29 minutes. Uh, track, chap, 3, 29 minutes, girls whispering. There we go, okay. Soft moonlight soothed. And the wide expanse without gave a sense of freedom which refreshed me. I determined not to return tonight to the gloom-haunted rooms, but to sleep here, where, of old, ladies had sat and sung and lived sweet lives, whilst their gentle breasts were sad for their menfolk away in the midst of remorseless wars. Ugh. I drew a great couch out of its place near the... Scraping chair. Sometimes, I mean, the good thing about having built this sound effect library myself is sometimes I just know exactly uh, which uh, which sound effect I need. A lot of these were gathered for 1984. Mm. I had written in my diary and had fortunately replaced the book and pen in my pocket. I felt sleepy. The Count's warning came into my mind, but I... Where, of old, ladies had sat and sung and lived sweet lives, whilst their gentle breasts were sad for their menfolk away mm. in the midst of remorseless wars. Yeah. I drew her great couch out of its place near the corner, so that as I... Oh no, it's gonna have to be the big loud one, obviously. ...of remorseless wars. I drew, drew a great couch out of its place near the corner, so that as I lay, I could look at the lovely view. Of remorseless walls. I drew a great couch out of its place near the corner, so that as I lay, I could look at the lovely view to east and south, and on. near the corner, so that as I lay, I could look at the lovely view to east and south, and unthinking of and uncaring for the dust, composed myself for sleep. I suppose I must have thinking of and, and uncaring for the dust, composed myself for sleep. I suppose I must the dust composed myself to composed myself for sleep I suppose I'm I must have for sleep I suppose I mm, no 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 that sounds bad okay so what we do is we delete that and then we take the end of the last few seconds of it we're probably gonna stretch it out a little bit Okay, and we go uh, speed duration. We'll take it down to eighty percent. Don't worry about maintaining the audio pitch because we want it to get lower and slower. Fall asleep. I suppose I must have fallen asleep. Yeah, yeah. Posed myself for sleep. I suppose I must have fallen asleep. I hope so, but I fear for all that followed was startlingly real. So real that now, sitting here in the broad, full sunlight of the morning, I cannot in the least believe that it was all sleep. I was not alone. The room was the same, unchanged in any way, since I came into it. I could see along the floor in the brilliant moonlight my own footsteps marked where I had disturbed the long... This might be a terrible idea accumulation of dust in the moonlight opposite uh if you excuse me for a moment uh folks i just have to go and handle something at the front door how's that no oh 
How's that? <laughs> there you go.
Hey, alrighty, sorry about that. I am back. Uh, let's, um, there we go. So pro at this streaming. I'm so good at it. <laughs> uh, that, um, that little um, Detroit Become Human um, screen thingy was from a long time ago, of course. All right. But I haven't streamed in so long because our internet connection was not good enough for a long time after we came to Japan. So it's been like six months or more um, that, uh, yeah, everything's still set up for the old stuff. All right, where were we? ...me were three young women, ladies, by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on the floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then whispered together. Two were dark and had high... Um, right, first, that long one is too long, so we'll use a much shorter one. I'm not sure this is going to work at all. I'm just sort of playing around. My own footsteps marked where I had disturbed the long accumulation of dust. In the moonlight opposite me were three young women. Young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on the floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and... That's okay, I want it to sound weirder though. Young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on the floor. They came close to me. Three young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on yeah, the floor. Yeah, I like that. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then... Let's have a little bit of bare feet on the concrete. Ugh, that's so bad. That's so terrible. The, some of these um, sound effects I made with worse software back in the day basically <clears throat> uh okay so time stretch expand no that sounds awful too okay oop Oh, go away! Go away! Oh my god, that bit of software, I swear, every time I open it, it's like, oh, do you want us to install a, uh, a software updater? I've said yes every single time, and it's like, okay! And then it does nothing. We'll ask you again next time, alright? Jesus. Go. Okay, that's good, but we're going to remove um, uh, quite a lot of that base. No, C C C C C. We want it to be light. There we go. There we go. See, if only I'd had better software back then. And it's compressed as an MPEG too. Blech. Yuck. All right. No shadow on the floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then whispered. 
Right. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong sound, isn't it? Yes, we don't want that one. That one's horrible. We should just get rid of it. Go away, you filthy, horrible thing. Okay. We don't need you. What? Who needs... All right, all right, all right. Okay. Relax, Steve. Relax. Getting too excited. The floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then whispered... Right, that's where we need our whispering at exactly 2901. Is that what we've got? What? That, that makes all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Time and then whispered together. Two were dark and had high aquiline noses like the Count and great dark piercing eyes that seemed to be almost red when contrasted with the pale yellow moon. The other was fair, as fair as can Save, save, back up, and With continue. great masses of golden hair and eyes like pale sapphires. I seemed somehow to know her face, and to know it in connection with some dreamy fear, but I could not recollect at the moment how or where. All three had brilliant white teeth that shone like pearls against the ruby of their voluptuous lips. There was something about them that made me uneasy. And that is where we will begin an uneasy tone. Which one will we use? We have so many, so many, so many. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, see what sort of cool sound effects I've got? Oh, you want to hear this one? Look, I'm so proud of this one. This one took me like three hours uh, of work to figure out how to do it. Oh, yeah. Hey? Did you get that? I hope you had your headphones in, or at least stereo speakers. Whoosh! There was one short story that I did a long time ago where I played with uh, stereo because it, it's just so much work to have things moving about in space like that. Um, what was it called? It was... It was... Same. Same, I think it was called. Yes, yes, I think. I believe so. Wait a minute, let's just go have a look. Uh, it's in the... It's in the... Um, Parker Originals. Where are they? There we go. Um, same, there we are. <laughs> 620 views, I put all that effort in. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I don't really do it much anymore. But, um, yeah, the, like space battles and all sorts of stuff we've got. I really played with stereo to have ships up on the left playing, firing lasers that shot across the, the stereo space to hit ships on the right and, you know, everything moving around a lot. It took ages and ages and ages and nobody cared in the least, so I didn't do it again. But, uh, uh, yeah, you should have a listen. I, I really like it. It's good. It's good. Okay. Never Surrender's good, too. I like it. Check it out. 4,000 views. That's so many more than any of the other short stories. So many more. Absolutely absurd. Whoop. Including that one that's not been released yet. Oh, look at that. Oh, little sneaky peeky for my Twitch audience. There's no one here. That's why I'm acting like a dickhead. Okay. Some Back to work. Longing. And at the same time, some deadly fear. Wait, there was a sound effect I wanted. In connection with some there. dreamy fear, but I could not recollect at the moment how or where. All three had brilliant white teeth that shone like. Ah, oh, that's right. The weirdness. He's feeling very upset. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Music, maybe creepy, speaky. Creepy, creepy music. Spooky ambiance. No, 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 not that one. Spooky atmosphere. Yes, that's a good one. I like that one. 
All right, let's use that one. Where <laughs> oh, excuse me. I tried to shield you from that. I bet it didn't work. Had disturbed the long accumulation of dust. In the moonlight opposite me were three young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming. I think a little bit earlier for that. Here were three young women. It should already be started by the time he says women. Here were three young women. Ladies yes. by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them. They threw no shadow on the floor. No shadow they on the floor. To me and looked at me for some time and then whispered together. Two were dark and had high aquiline noses like the Count and great dark piercing eyes that seemed to be almost red when contrasted with the pale yellow moon. The other was fair, as fair as can be, with great masses of golden hair and eyes like pale sapphires. I seemed somehow to know her face, and to know it in connection with some dreamy fear, but I could not recollect at the moment how or where. All three had brilliant white teeth that shone like pearls against the ruby of their voluptuous lips. There was something about them that... That made me uneasy. Some. Wait. Yeah, uneasy. There. I want the peak to hit. There. Your slips. There was something about them that made me uneasy. Some longing, and at the same time, some deadly fear. I felt in my heart a wicked, burning desire that they would kiss me with those red lips. It is not good to note this down, lest someday it should meet Mina's eyes and cause her pain, but it is the truth. They whispered together, and then they all three laughed, such a silly... Okay, now, I do have sound effects for this. Desktop, audio working, Darkola, chapter three, the brides. First, second, and third. Thank you. There we go. Eh. Asukoi. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're right here. I felt in my heart a wicked burning desire that they would kiss me with those red lips. It is not good to note this down, lest someday it should meet Mina's eyes and cause her pain, but it is the truth. They whispered together, and then they all three laughed. Okay. Put a marker there, because I have to go and find the laughter. Um, it's easy in the third bride, because she doesn't do much. She just reacts to things. Such a silvery musical laugh, but as hard. There. There. That was easy. Let's go find two. As though the sound could never have come through the softness of human lips. It was like the intolerable. tingling sweetness of water glasses when played on by a cunning hand. He laughed such a silvery musical laugh but as hard as though the sound could never have come through the softness of human lips. It was Alright, we'll play around with them a bit. Silvery musical laugh, but as hard as though the sound could never have come through the soft softness of human lips. It was like the sound could never have come through the softness of human lips. It was like the intolerable. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, yes. We'll move you on a little bit. Here we go. Such a silvery musical laugh, but as hard as though the sound could never have come through the softness of human lips. 
was like the intolerable tingling sweetness of water glasses when played on by a cunning hand. The fair girl shook her head coquettishly, <laughs> and the other two urged her on. <coughs> said, oh, pardon me. On. You are the first. We shall follow. Yours is the right to begin. The other added, He is young and strong. There are kisses for us all. I lay quiet, looking out from under my eyelashes in an agony of delight. The other added, He is young and strong. There are kisses for us all. There's a problem here. They are spoken by two different actresses. One said, Go on. You are the first. We shall follow. And another. He is young and strong. But they sound very similar, don't they? Like they have a similar vocal tone. So what I'm going to do... Added. He is young and strong. Let's see... Hmm... I don't know whether I can do much in this software, and I don't want to mess with it too much and make it sound bad. Time and pitch. He is young and strong. There are kisses for us all. Follow. Yours is the right to begin. The other added. He is young and strong. There are kisses for us all. We shall follow. Yours is the right to begin. The other added. He is young and strong. There are kisses for us all. I yep. lay quiet, That's looking good. out from under my eyelashes in an agony of delight. Just, just a slight difference. Just a little, just enough, you know. The fair girl advanced and bent over. Uh, the soft foot falls again. Where were they back there? Yes. Looking out from under my eyelashes in an agony of delightful anticipation. Pervert. <laughs> I've said it before, I will say it again. If you're into vampires, you're a necrophile. You you want to shag dead people, and it's gross. You should stop it. In an agony of delightful anticipation, the fair girl advanced and bent over me till I could feel... The fair girl advanced and bent over me till I could feel the movement of her breath upon me. Sweet it was, in one sense, honey sweet, and sent the same tingling through the nerves as her voice, but with a bitter un... Okay, now. Oops, oh, what the hell have I done? Okay, let's have you there. I just want to lift you all up. So I can play with you more accurately, because... We've got a lot of sound effects um, for these vampire ladies. Why this man belongs to... Oh, no, no. I'll do there we go. Um, and I want to make sure I get them right. A bit, uh, offensive. <coughs> uh, wait. Come on. Yeah, that's a line. That's no good. We to have to Another line. Very important, but not for now. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Where was it? Where was it? Uh, now that's her laughing, isn't it? Is that Bride 3? Yeah, okay, so forget her for the moment. 
Might be a bride too. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, so we want that one. Copper, Pestia, thank you. Whoops. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. I can mess with you later. Okay. X. Now, where were we? Back here. I was afraid to raise my eyelids, but look. And sent the same tingling through the nerves as her. The fair girl advanced and bent over me till I could feel the movement of her breath upon me. Movement of her breath upon me. Sweet it was, in one sense, honey sweet, and sent the same tingling through the nerves as her voice, but with a bitter underlying the sweet, a bitter offensiveness, as one smells in blood. Blood. I was afraid to raise my eyelids, but looked out and saw perfectly under the lashes. The girl went on her knees and bent over me, simply gloating. There was a deliberate voluptuousness, which was both thrilling and repulsive. And as she arched her neck, she actually licked her lips like... There. A hungry noise, please. Can I have some hungry hungries? Hungry hungry hippos. Hungry hungry hippo vampire ladies. I thought I cleaned that up. Oh well. There. Good, good. I'll tell you, they've done a really good job <coughs> here. Um, it was one of the most difficult things to do as an actor is uh, basically just unappealing shit that you don't want to do. And, and it can be very embarrassing to be sitting in a room neck, and going, all right, be all, be all sensual and demonic and hungry. Go, 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 do that. <laughs> it's hard. Her lips like an animal, till I could see in the moonlight the moisture shining on... Let's split them up. An animal, till I could see in the moonlight the moisture shining on the scarlet lips and on the red tongue as it lapped the white sharp teeth. Lower sharp teeth. Lower and lower went her head as the lips went below the range of my mouth and chin and seemed to fasten on my throat. Then she paused, and I could hear the churning sound of her tongue as it licked her teeth and lips, and I could feel the hot breath on my neck. Then the skin of my throat began to tingle, as one's flesh does when the hand that is to tickle it approaches nearer, nearer. Speaking of necrophiles, Bram Stoker, eh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> The soft shivering touch of the lips on the super sensitive skin of my throat and the hard dents of two sharp teeth just touching and pausing there. I closed my eyes in languorous ecstasy and waited, waited with beating heart. But at that instant another sensation swept through me as quick as lightning. Right, now... Dracula comes in, so of course. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> Let's have uh, a big belt of the base as old Draco comes in. I was conscious of the presence of the Count and swept through me as. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, is it that one? No. Which one is it? I thought it was that one. Ah, 
Ah, Mega Base. There we go. There we go. With beating heart. But at that instant, another sensation swept through me as quick as lightning. I was conscious. There we go. Can't overdo these things. That instant, another sensation swept through me as quick as lightning. I was conscious of the presence of the Count, and of his being as if lapped in a storm of fury. As my eyes opened involuntarily, I saw his strong hand grasp the slender neck of the fair woman, and with a giant's power, draw it back. Okay, there we go. Now, need a gasp. Uh, from, I believe, the First Bride. Which we could find this stuff. No, not that one. There we are. And grasp the slender neck of the fair woman. As my eyes opened involuntarily, I saw his strong hand grasp the slender neck of the fair woman and with a giant's power draw it back. The blue eyes transformed with fury, the white teeth champing with rage, and the fair cheeks blazing red with passion. But the Count, never did I imagine such wrath and fury even to the demons of the pit. His eyes were positively blazing. The red light in them was lurid, as if the flames of hellfire blazed behind them. His face was deathly pale, and the lines of it were hard like drawn wires. The thick eyebrows that met over the nose now seemed to be a heaving bar of white-hot metal. I think this can increase in intensity from the moment <coughs> that he grabs her, which is there. With a fierce sweep of his arm, he hurled the woman from him and then motioned to the others. Okay, we want a crash of, uh, like, wood or something like that, right? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Um, well, I mean, we've got all the little explosions and stuff. Maybe something in the debris. It's a bit big, maybe. They're mostly too much at the moment. Maybe that one at 30 seconds. That was all right. Here, coming up. Just that one. That would work, I think, actually. Uh, so it was that uh, debris various, right? And it was at 30 seconds in. Uh, 40 seconds. Can we pull it back a bit, please? Pull it back a bit. We're at 19, so we go to 49. That should be about 30 seconds. Oh, way too much.
Shush you brides. <laughs> They're too big in here. Right? I can't even work out which one I was talking about. Maybe that one? I think it would be hard to cut it out easily, though. This is not a particularly good compilation. A lot of these I got um, basically when I didn't have a sound effects budget at all, so they're super, super cheap. Therefore, difficult. Difficult to use because they're not good. faster, I think. Yeah, let's actually cut out a bit of the middle there. I don't like it. I don't like it. What was the other one? Just wood crash. Ah! Maybe underneath? Alright, um... volume down for all of it. Ah. Ah. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Difficulties of not having a full-on studio where I can just go and throw shit around, you know? idea but shorter much much shorter fade in what are you doing still playing get back get back to our work area you dastardly bastard less 
Less, less, less. That's the one. Beautiful. Okay. Phew, finally, eh? <laughs> opened involuntarily I saw his strong hand grasp oops that's gotta be uh, down a few channels doop, doop, doop. there we go being as if lapped in a storm of fury as my eyes opened involuntarily I saw his strong hand grasp the slender neck of the fair woman and with a giant's power draw it back the blue eyes transformed with fury the white teeth champing with rage and the fair cheeks blazing red with passion. But the Count, never did I imagine such wrath and fury even to the demons of the pit. His eyes were positively blazing. The red light in them was lurid as if the flames of hellfire blazed behind them. His face was deathly pale and the lines of it were hard like drawn wires. The thick eyebrows that met over the nose now seemed to be a heaving bar of white-hot metal. With a fierce sweep of his arm, he hurled the woman from him at bar of white-hot metal. With a fierce sweep of his arm, he hurled the woman from him and then motioned to the others as though he were beating them back. It was the same imperious j Hmm, okay. But what that needs, of course, is a reaction from the woman being thrown. Right? It's not much good without it. <laughs> not you, creepo. <laughs> no. He is young. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> These are incorrect reactions to being thrown across a room. <laughs> On. Oh, you know what? I might have to go back to Jen's original file. Um, where she did a bunch of like extra noises. That I couldn't find a specific use for. So if we can find one for this. <laughs> Got a bit exasperated at the end of the file, which was great, but uh, yeah. mm, close, maybe. Oh, I might end up using that. Uh, it's not quite right, right? But in uh, if I use it with with those other two SFX, it might just work. The count. Where are we there? A sensation swept through me as quick as lightning. I was conscious of the presence of the Count, and of his being as if lapped in a storm of fury. As my eyes opened involuntarily, I saw his strong hand Oops. grasp... Uh, it's one of the things I don't like about this software. Is, like, I can't think of a better way to do it, so, you know, they've done well, but... Messing around with all the channels like this can be de His arm, difficult. He hold the woman from him and then motion to the. Hold the woman from him and then motion to the others as though he were beating them back. Maybe a bit of a whoosh noise, right? Um. Oh, oh my ears are starting to hurt. I'm sure those of you who wear glasses uh, under headphones are familiar with how my ears feel right now. <coughs> yeah.
near the end of that. And I'm, I'm sort of tempted to try and use some of my whoosh. Uh, where is it? In Strange? Yes. <laughs> hey, what do you think? A little bit of the whoosh? Let's see. We'll, we'll play. We'll have a play. And we'll see if it works. Sweep of his arm. Um, he hurled the woman from him and then fierce sweep of his arm. He hurled the woman from him and then fierce sweep of his arm. He hurled the woman from him and then motioned to the others as though quiet. Of his arm, he hurled the woman from him and then motioned to the others as though. Weep of his arm, he hurled the woman from him and then motion. Why is the scream not playing? Hold the woman from him and then motion to the others as though he were beating them. He hurled the woman from him and then motion to the others as With a fierce sweep of his arm, he hurled the woman from him and then motion to the others as though he were beating them back. It was the same imperious gesture that I had seen used to the wolves. In a voice which, though low and almost in a whisper, seemed to cut through the air. I like that. Daddy like, daddy like. Air and then ring in the room, he said. How dare you touch many of you. Oh, Julia, hello. Hello, my lovely, how are you? Sorry, I only just noticed that you are here. Hello, 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 hello. Did you see all that ridiculousness? <laughs> all that work? To have one person thrown through the air to crash into a thing. Eh, neat. Yeah, we're right at the end of uh, chapter three here, uh, which is good. I'm just going to finish the uh, SFX thingy me bob. Eyes on him when I had forbidden it. Back, I tell you all. This man belongs to me. Beware how you meddle with him, or you will hurt. <laughs> Yeah, I want to watch how you make your music. I think it'll be far more interesting than um, just me slapping stuff together like this. With me. The fair girl with a laugh of ribald coquetry. Right. Uh, back to the ladies. And I threw away their files, didn't I? Like an idiot. Uh, brides, thank you. There we are. Uh, which one was it? The fair girl. First bride. Again. Ah, oh, it's that line. Okay, I know where we are. The fair girl with a laugh of ribald coquetry turned to answer him. Now, uh, this is a very specific line. This is the you never love, right? On this, the other women joined. Answer him. You yourself have never loved. Yep, right. Now we have a specific laugh for this. Which one is it? Yeah, there we go. Jen did a great job on this one. Uh, I don't think you ever actually worked uh, with Jen, um, Julia, but uh, she was uh, on on uh, Alice in one line as well. Uh, she and her husband were, were they the Griffin and the Walrus or something like that. They sing the song at the end of the book. That was these two. Uh, I've done similar things, but with Foley work and nabbing random noises from royalty-free SFX on YouTube. Yes, yes. Jen's voice sounds fantastic, by the way. Yeah, she did really well. Did a really great job. Never. Oh. Okay, so that's all got to finish before that, of course. Turn to answer him. All right, we've got to line that up better. So we're probably going to have to move up some chat. Yeah, so I can get closer. Closer to the voice line. Do you have a lot of trouble working with the um, uh, the different channels here in Premiere? It's uh, like, I can't think of a better way to do it, as I was saying just before. I don't know if you heard me, but um, it can be a bit fiddly. 
The fair girl with a laugh of ribald coquetry turned to answer him. You. Okay, that's close. Him. You yourself have never loved. There we go. How's that? The fair girl with a laugh of ribald coquetry turned to answer him. You yourself have never loved. You never loved. These characters do sound a lot of fun to do. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, Jen's a very experienced actress. She just had a lot of fun. You should hear the raw file. She's having a ball, and it's great. Um, the the other actress, Kira Jones, is um, one of the new people. She was a winner of the uh, reading competition that we just held. Um, so she was maybe a bit more... Uh, not sure, you know, what I'm doing. Not particularly comfortable with the... Um, uh, subject matter, but still did uh, a good job, which is, you know, three cheers. Very well done. One of the hardest things as an actor, as I'm sure you know, is to perform things that you're not very comfortable with, you know? And um, uh, semi-sexual uh, content is particularly difficult, especially when you're sitting at home in a room in front of a mic going, okay, how do I laugh all sexy like a chick vampire? You know, that's <laughs> it's a tough job. Hmm can be handy to mute tracks at times to find new noisy culprits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll bear that in mind. On this, the other women joined, and such a mirthless, hard, soulless laughter ran... Yes, mirthless, hard, soulless laughter. My favourite kind. That's not true. <laughs> Just being a dickhead. Okay, so... Um, okay, three is easy to find, two should be easy to find as well, uh, going through gens will be harder. I think it's her second laugh as three. On this, the other women joined, and yeah. such a mirthless, hard, soulless la Is that Kira's hard <laughs> laugh? Yes, it is. Okay, good. There we go. This, the other women joined, and such a mirthless, hard, soulless laughter rang through the room that it almost made me faint to hear. It seemed like the pleasure of feet. On this, the other women joined, and such a mirthless, hard, soul. On this, the other women joined, and such a mirthless, hard, soulless laughter rang through the room that it almost made me faint to hear. It seemed like the pleasure of fiends. Make sure that trim is okay. That it almost made me faint to hear. It seemed like the ple pleasure of fiends. Then, what's that laugh in A three? Uh, or burp, 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 burp. right? Uh, these are um, uh, this one here. Is that what you mean? That's actually a sped up version of this one here. Yes. There's supposed to be three brides. I could only get two actresses. So, diabolical chipmunk. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, such a dick. I made a compilation. That's the original laugh. <laughs> Sped up and slowed down. I have fun. <laughs> I'm allowed to have fun with my editing. That's a rule. It's a rule that I've set myself. All right. Here we go. <laughs> and this, the other women joined, and such a mirthless, hard, soulless laughter rang through the room that it almost made me faint to hear. It seemed like the pleasure of fiends. 
Then the Count turned, after looking at my face attentively, and said in a soft whisper, Yes, I too can love. You yourselves can tell it from the past. Is it not so? Well, now I promise you that when I am done with him... Let's drag a little bit quiet there. I think he is. We might have to pick him up. Yeah. I'll pick him up just a little bit. Just a tiny tad. Yes, I too can. Go. I must awaken you. You blah. Ah, come on, get in there. Get in there, you dastardly thing, dear. Whoopla. Will now go. Go. I must awaken him for there is work to be done. Are we to have nothing tonight? Said one of them with a low laugh as she pointed. Ah, another laugh. Gosh. All this laughing. Evil, maniacal laughter. Uh, not that one, not that one, not that one. Uh, there we are. Um, first bride. We'd have nothing tonight was towards the end. There was no door near them, and they could not have passed me without my noticing. They inside the dim shadow. Then... Shh, Olivia. Shush, everyone. Shush. Shush all you other sounds. No, it's not that one. <laughs> Jen had uh, possibly a little too much fun recording this one, which I'm, I'm very familiar. Yes, good. Okay, whoops. Don't mess it up now, Steve. You have to use it. Where were we? Around here. Said one of them with a low laugh. There we are. And the low laugh goes in there. I have nothing tonight. Said one of them with a low laugh as she pointed to the bag which he had thrown upon the floor and which moved as though there were some. Let's cut just before the gasp because that I'm going to use in a moment. Said one of them with a low laugh as she pointed to the bag which he had thrown upon the floor and which moved as though there were some living thing within it. For answer, he nodded his head. One of the women jumped forward and opened it. If my eyes did not deceive me, there was a gasp and a low wail as of a half-smothered child. All right here. Um, baby. Need the sound effects of a baby, please. Baby! Maybe crying. No. Wine? Oh, maybe the wine. Yes, that's the one. That'll look good. Sound good. Sorry. <clears throat> Login should already be logged in. Thank you. That's a bit weird. I hate it when it does that. Download that. Cure cot to uh, SFX people. Oh, of course, I've already got babies crying. From 1984, one of the least pleasant scenes I ever had to make. Okay, baby wine. Um, now, <coughs> what do we think? Soundforge? Yeah. Baby wine, and then EQ, because we're going to make it a muffled.
save as. Baby uh, yeah. one muffled. I'm just going to put it out there. There we go. Because we're probably never going to use this one again. The women closed round whilst I was child. The women closed. Okay, effect. Uh, uh, reverb, no, 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 no. Time and pitch. Uh, maybe. Pitch shifter, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Um, let's just throw a bit more EQ on it. Child. The women closed round whilst I smothered child. The women closed round whilst I was aghast with horror, but as I looked smothered child. The women closed round. Yeah, and subscribe to some AI tools. All the processing is handled on their servers, and the weight is excruciating gear, right? Digit. Mm hmm. Topping up coffee? No worries. We're really close to the end here. Child. The women closed round whilst I was aghast with horror, but as I looked, they disappeared. And Right, now. <laughs> can we do this? Is this weird enough? It certainly is. Uh, where did I put that? Where was that? The the magic fairy dust. Magic fairy dust. Uh, oh, jeez. Where did I put it? There's that one. Ah, there we are. Reversed. Use this in Alice in Wonderland. To great effect for the Cheshire Cat. With the, the dreadful bag. No. There was no door near them, and they could not have passed me with Yes, a yes, no, just that little one. We don't want anything big here. Just some little stuff. With horror, but as I looked, they disappeared. And with them, the dreadful bag. They dis disappeared. And with them... With horror, but as I looked, they disappeared. And with them, the dreadful bag. There was no door near them, and they could not have passed me without my noticing. They simply seemed to fade into the rays of the moonlight and pass out through the window, for I could see outside the dim, shadowy forms for a moment before they entirely faded away. Then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious. Okay, so the timing of those is way off. But that's okay, we can fix that. There we go, that goes there. Bobbity boom. Now all of these all sound effects shrinky dinky and they can start fading back there lovely fady fady outy outy uh, a little bit of the visual stuff Visual transmissions devolve double to blacker. There we go. And that's it, I think. Then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious. No. Nope, 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 nope. Those sounds ended too soon. They simply seemed to fade into the rays of the moonlight and pass out through the window, for I could see outside the dim, shadowy forms for a moment before they entirely faded away. 
then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious. Way. Then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious. Holy shit. Chapter three is finished. Oh. Mina's eyes and cause her pain, but it is the truth. Sweet lives, whilst their gentle breasts were sad for their menfolk. I was aghast with horror, but as I looked, they disappeared, and with them, the dreadful bag. There was no door near them, and they could not have passed me without my noticing. They simply seemed to fade into the rays of the moonlight and pass out through the window, for I could see outside the dim, shadowy forms for a moment before they entirely faded away. Then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious. Down unconscious. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Chapter 3 is finished. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that took so long. God damn it. <laughs> Look at all those tiny sound effects. So many, so many, so many. But very, very cool. Now, there's another decision that I have to make, uh, which is... In the no SFX version, do I uh, put some of the sound effects of the uh, 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 the Brides of Dracula under that as well, like the laughing and that sort of stuff? Does that count as sound effects, or is it just an extension of the dialogue? If it's an extension of the dialogue, then I I lay it under. If they're sound effects, I leave them. I don't know. I don't know. See, if I was really well organized, I'd have all these channels like labeled for specific things. Like, oh, uh, A8, that's that's Bride 1. A9 is Bride 2. A10, Bride 3. You know, A4, that's just for doors or something like that, right? Uh, and that would make it very easy to just grab all the Bride sounds, copy, open the NoSFX version, paste it, see how it sounded, see if it was too intrusive or whatever. I tend to think, like, the people that listen to the NoSFX things, they, ju they don't want anything. They just want the words being read. So I think I'll just leave it. I think they get nothing. They want nothing, and they shall receive it in abundance! Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? We're going just ten eighty. Yep. Ample. Ample. Ah <sighs> okay. Dracula. Or the owl. Uh, videos where the exports went. Lovely. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. There we go. Look at that. It's done. It's done. It's done. Ah, oh, I love it.
lovely. Oh, this is the best part of my week. <laughs> Finishing an audiobook. Ah, uh, or a chapter, rather. Best part of the year is finishing an audiobook. Best part of the week is finishing a chapter. Lovely. All right, so from here on in, it's uh, uh, just, um, just exporting and organizing. It's all very, very boring work. Um, so I'll probably uh, leave this stream there. Thank you very much for joining me, you wonderful folks who have joined me. I hope everything was um, uh, copacetic on your end as far as the audio levels and all that sort of thing are concerned. And um, that you have a great day. Wonderful. I might do some gaming later on. I'm feeling a little bit, little bit gamey. Might do a little bit of a gamey googa. Let's see about that. Yes. All right. But for the moment, um, that will be it. Here we go, my super... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't have to do that. I can use shortcuts because I am a pro streamer. Oh, you can't hear me when I do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Let's pretend that... There. We, we were playing Detroit Become Human, okay? That's what happened. And that's how we're going to finish this stream. Brilliant. Okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry I suck. Uh, we'll see you later. Okay, have a great one. Bye, 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 b